Glory to God. Let's worship the Lord this morning. The book of Isaiah 55, 11, it says up here on the screen, you can read it together. It says, so shall my word be, this is God saying, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void or empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So God is telling us here that when his word is sent out of his lips, it can't, bring, it can't bring back empty results. It can't be returning void. But the scripture says here that when God's word is sent out of his mouth, it shall accomplish that which I please. God, he's, he knows the words that are powerful because it was out of, in the beginning when there was darkness, he released words that created this earth, that created everything that we see around us. And so when we put God's word in our lips, we can also expect his results. That when we speak his word, it will not come back empty to us. It will accomplish and it will prosper. That's what the Lord says, that we shall be as his mouth. Because the word of God, it can never return empty. And one of the things that I've learned in my life, seeing and learning from the word of God and teachings, that the power of our words that we speak, you know, not just speaking empty words or anything that just comes to your mind or words that the world is just saying. We need to put these words in our lips. In the book of Proverbs 4, it tells us that the word of God is like medicine to us. In fact, as you speak his promises, it can be medication to your body. You know, healing that you need in your physical being, if you're even when you're not feeling sick, you can still speak those words out of your lips. Because at all points in our life, you know, we need to understand that we need the word for our health and for prospering in every area of our life. As the scripture says here, Proverbs 4.22, For they are life unto those that find them. And health, one of the words there, health means medicine to our flesh. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? These words are not empty. When we take his promises, they bring results. They prosper. They accomplish. As that scripture in Isaiah 55, 11 said, God's word can't return empty. It will prosper. And when you see in Proverbs chapter 4, some of the results of his word are, it is health to your flesh. Oh, praise God. Aren't you glad that God's word is health to you? You can go to that word, Amen. receive health, and it's life. To those who find it so let's come to the place where we realize God if your word is not empty but it prospers then what you say is the final result God's report is final many times we trust man's report as final but man can lie man can change but the word says that God cannot lie he cannot change and when he gives you his word take that as that is my good report that is what I believe Hallelujah. God's words never return empty. And that's what we're going to start singing. We're going to say in this song, God says, I am healed. And if God says it, I believe it. Now, sometimes in your body, when you're feeling symptoms and sick, you might say, why am I saying that I'm healed? Well, you're not talking lies when you say the word. The word of God is medication that you're speaking against what the enemy is bringing to your body. You see, in a battle, we see that the opposing army, they go forward, they fight against that, whatever is coming against them. So when sickness is attacking you, don't just stay quiet and just talk about, you know, that you're going to be in this mess. Fight against it with the word of God. That's right. Speak what the word says because his word can't return empty. No. When you take healing scriptures, that is your medicine mm -hmm. that brings health to your body. So let's come to the place where we realize what God says is the final report. Because his word can't come back empty. It's going to accomplish. It's going to prosper. When you're sending his word to your body by speaking healing scriptures or speaking prosperity or whatever it is, those words will prosper. They will come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And all of you online, join us as we celebrate the word of God and his 
uh, scriptures and the promises that he has given us you know it's a time of celebration we are rejoicing in the word as we sing it bible says his presence is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore so we're going to declare what god says is our final report his word can't return empty but it always prospers where it is sent to hallelujah father we come before your presence and we thank you that you're already here with us we enter your courts with praise and lord even as we've been reading these scriptures they give us hope and assurance that your word can't return empty to us it will always prosper lord and we take this word as medication to our body we say father that your word is life as we find it it is life it truly brings us the joy that we need and the peace that we need and we come father and we proclaim that your word is a good report to us you cannot change you cannot lie you are still the same and we honor you and we praise you father for doing great and mighty things today in jesus name amen hallelujah let's say the good report of the lord says god says i am healed god says i am strong that's what we're going to sing as we read god's word can't return empty so when he says something that's the final and it's going to bring results hallelujah let's sing this simple song
we're going to declare and say, I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. I don't belong to Satan anymore. You're on the winning team. When you've accepted Christ, you're on the winning team. So you got to believe that you are a winner. And if the devil tells you you're a failure, you tell him, no devil, I cannot be a failure. Because Jesus won the victory and he also gave me victory. Hallelujah. Let's sing about the victory he's given us. I cannot be defeated. to work. Amen. Many times we get discouraged because we don't see it the first time we confess it or the first time we declare his word. But that's not how we ought to be. Yeah. That's not, we're not quitters on the word. No. We know that the word of God always produces results. And the more we begin to do it, the more we begin to see, yes, this word is working. You see, that's the enemy's trick. He wants you to quit on the word. Because he knows the word of God produces results. And whenever you sense that, you know, that feeling of quitting on God's word or quitting on what you've been believing, well, that's the devil. And he's a liar. We know that. The Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the thief only comes to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to give you abundant life. And in that abundant life, we have health, we have prosperity, we have healing in our minds we have wisdom every good thing is in that blessing of abundant life and the way we tap into this life God has given us is we got to open our mouth and speak his promises sing his word and as you begin to do that God's word starts working in your life the power of our words really brings results hallelujah we cannot be defeated amen look at somebody and say we're not going to quit. We're not going to quit. Hallelujah. We're not going to quit. We're not going to quit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
but it's also important that we don't have a double confession mm-hmm. where we're speaking the word of god sometimes and then we talk everything that's going wrong everything that's negative you see the bible says in the book of james that a double minded man is unstable that don't let that man think he will receive anything from the lord yeah. god is very clear about that where doubt and unbelief together don't bring results faith and fear don't bring results but whenever you've spoken words of unbelief break the power of it and say no no that's not going to come out of my mouth those doubt and unbelief it's not going to come out i'm not going to speak those words mm. we can train our tongue to speak the word only and keep it before our eyes and remember as we read god's word won't be empty it will produce results hallelujah let's continue singing from the scripture jesus said now you are clean through the word the spirit gives us in john 15:3 now you are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you and he also says the spirit gives us life the flesh profits nothing let's sing from the scriptures his word brings us life now you are clean through the word now you are clean through the word now you are clean through the word which i have spoken unto
Father, we honor your words. Praise your word is treasure to us. Your word keeps us, Father, strong and healthy. And your word gives us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Hallelujah. We treasure this word, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the blood of Jesus is not just ordinary blood. It is blood that's full of power. And uh, as we're going to sing this next song, You Carried My Burden, what we're singing about is the great exchange that was made with us. When Jesus died on the cross, that was a great exchange that took place. He carried our sin. He, when he was beaten with those 39 stripes, he was carrying our sicknesses and our diseases. And the scripture talks about that on the cross he was poor. Mm -hmm. so that we might be rich. So he carried our poverty. And the blessing that we have is that we don't need to carry those things any longer. We don't need to live under the curse. You see, sin, sickness, and poverty is a curse. It's in the world. But as believers, we don't need to be under that. Because Galatians 3.13, it says, Christ has redeemed us. That word redeemed is a a freeing word, he bought us out of that curse. He paid such a heavy price so you don't need to live in the curse. And he gave us in exchange, in exchange of sin, he gave us righteousness. Righteousness means that you can stand boldly in the Father's presence. And in exchange for our sickness, he gave us healing. Those 39 stripes that he bore, he was carrying all the sicknesses and diseases that are in the world. Everything was on his body while he was, you know, being beaten. Mental torment that Jesus went through when they beat that crown of thorns on his head. So that you can be healed. That scripture in Isaiah 53, we read the chapter of Isaiah 53, talks so much about the suffering that Jesus went through. We'll just read it up here before we sing this song. Isaiah 53. Verse 4 says, Surely he has borne our griefs. That word, one of that talks about pain, griefs, some of the meanings. He has carried our pain, he has carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But it says, He was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And one of the meanings that it tells us the for us to have peace or for us to have a sound body, he had to be beaten for that. For us to have peace in our body, a sound body to have health, he had to be beaten for that. And the last part it says, and with his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah, I'm too thankful. This is the great exchange. He carried your sin. He carried your sickness. And in exchange, he gave you healing. And there's more scriptures that talk about he carried our sin and gave us righteousness. And he became poor so that you might be rich. Hallelujah. Christ has set us free from the curse. Thank you, Jesus. So no longer do you need to be under that curse anymore. You can say, Lord, I thank you. You have redeemed me from the curse so that I can be free. God wants you to be well. 
That's good news. He wants you to be well. He wants you to live in a body that is strong. And He wants you to live a life not bound by sin either. He has taken that curse and He wants you to live a life full of good riches and blessing. He exchanged all of that for you. Let's sing about the great exchange He gave us. You carried my burden When you hung on that cross The weight of the world Sickness and sin And poverty Because you were wounded By your stripes I am healed You carried my burden Oh, thank you, Lord And now I am free
We come against every rebuke, sickness, and disease in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says you have sent your word and you have healed us, Father. And I pray, Lord, that your word is being sent right now even through these cameras, Father. And let the word of God go into those bodies, Father, and bring healing, Father. And also, Lord, you have delivered us from destruction. I thank you for deliverances that are taking place, Lord. You came for this reason, to set the captives free. And I pray, Father, that there'll be freedom. They will notice the difference that takes place, Father, because your word cannot return empty. But it will produce, it will bring results. And I thank you, Father, that as they receive this word into their heart, Lord, that it will manifest and bring forth healing, Lord. Because your promise is that by the stripes that you bore, Jesus, we are healed. And I pray, Father, let there be healings taking place right now, that your word is confirmed with signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Let's say it together. God's will is for me to prosper and to be in health. Amen.